the, the weapons I have right now. Because I don't, I want that thunder hammer. Alright, here we go. Fresh him. Oh! What makes you think you can catch me this time, Gregor? You failed so many times before. Because you're trapped! That's cheating! What you just did, what you just did right there. Take down, alright. Oh, great, there's one coming over here. Ow, yeah, I was trying to figure out where that was, but it's fine. We're good. We're not good. Oh, someone is needing help. Oh, hey, maybe Gregor, it's... You don't want to kill me? You want to join me? Oh, I think what we're hearing with the guys in the cryopods getting uh, a little warmer. Oh, whoa! That was close. Oh, easy. Uh, I almost didn't press A there. Yeah. A big betting core alert the customer. Apparently, relief crews were on their way. Ah. But why? Why was Eichelon doing this? Because the jury wants to and wants to throw off your off his trail. Oh, All right, so these can either be um. Uh, these can either be uh, loot or uh. Your inventory. Oh. Actually, what's down there? If anything. Yeah, nothing is a dead end. Or at least I hope not. Or at least I hope it is. And I don't. Oh, there's no dead like at least like down there. Got you, Gregor. Now, if you keep missing, switching this out, I clone. Yep. Nope. Nope. All right, so that's time. That's not a uh, tap tap. Or tap 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 tap. Yeah, I'll buy sensitivity though. I do it when there's a full point. Feeling cold, Eisenhorn. You'll join these cops soon. Go look at out. Oh, what the mines. Oh, wait, maybe I should dodge through them instead of going around them. I hesitated. A merciful headshot would have spared her everything. But once awake... The hierarchy of hubris would not understand a mercy killing. You think me weak? Flawed? To set my duty before her suffering? I would gladly ignore one life in agony if I could save a hundred, a thousand more. For I have the moral strength required of an inquisitor. Mankind must suffer so that mankind can survive. It's that simple. But to this day, I still dream of the slow death to which I abandoned her. Did the whale around? The screaming, the pounding. God Emperor, help me out of here before they're back. Thousands of frantic souls waiting out to face an agonizing death. Yeah. All right, attention. Attention, P-21 staff. Here lies Veneral Meredith Maypal, Her Her Air Lord of Delwyn Cortons. Six, uh, the 16th... Uh, I guess... The 16th day of the... Wait... There's no 16 months, and there's no 12, uh, there's only 12 months. Uh, so yeah, I mean the Imperial Museum is a different calendar than we do. So yeah, well the 16 something, 14, 
the tw um, year twenty year twenty three or uh, twenty uh, year two two hundred thirty nine very first millennium. When reunification, Liege Maypel will assume the role of Lord Delwyn as recorded by the Maypel Family Accord. Year tw uh, twenty uh, two hundred thirty eight for first millennium is entitled it is entitled to early mobilization to the great to greater serfs as such custodians uh, 2000 or uh, number 22 uh, number 1988 number 3972 are responsible for periodic checks of his of his lineage and must ensure that he is Resurrected first with all the care he, that he might greet his subjects with dignity at his position de at, as that his position demands. Signed Orcs and Maybell. Yeah. Uh, uh this is, okay, this is where we get our stuff from. Alright, I'm gonna thunder hammer. Look at what you say. I played too much Mario and Halo not to get the not to get the hammer. As well as um internal crusade. This is a bad situation. Is this a prison or a place where I making fish a little great? Now, in uh, the party for Spillanium, uh, there are things known as Jew of Drugs in which allows someone, when on a regiment of Jew of Drugs, to live practically forever, or at least extremely long time over their usual amount. The cryo generators had come from the ships that first carried humans to this world. The tombs had been raised around them and kept operating for thousands of years. Yeah. There's another thing about the uh, party for Spillanium, they kind of lost how stuff worked uh, because of the... Um, because of the dark age of technology, I believe it was in between when humanity first con first conquest the first uh, spread across the galaxy, and um, when the when the emperor site basically when warp storms happened, making it impossible to travel between planets and warp, and the emperor um, and then the emperor showing up after that, doing the great crusade, uh, conquering the galaxy, and then well, him getting old, and and then basically a rebellion occurring called the Horus Heresy, and you get the idea. And now we're in the forty first millennium and everything is uh and technology has mostly been lost and the only thing people really do with technology now these days in order to make it better is worship it and hope it works. I don't think if they know how to fix something they can fix it. They just like to worship it first. Uh, to make sure it works when they fix it. Also, um the thing that built basically in the forty first millennium, an individual factory does not build something. They take a schematic, put it into a computer, then that will build something. So no one knows how to build vehicles or weapons or knives, for instance. Um, and if someone does find a new one of those schematics, uh, they will get paid a very they get paid very well for it. No matter what that schematic is. Um, so yeah, by the way, in memoriam hubris techno magi. And on the hubris techno magi fratini. In the year um uh, in the year 112 of the 39th millennium, settlers from the Tessian Primus embarked on a journey to a desolate war world and with the ambition for finding the Emperor's light in adverse conditions. The planet in question was Hebrus, a rocky world from a mineral from the, uh, the rocky world was mineral rich but suffered from or but suffered from an orbit which had left the surface frozen waste for most of the standard imperial year. What saved the budding Habroots was the fraternity of the Hollow Techno Magi from Back Lane. Sequestered initially to maintain gigantic arc fleet which carried the settlers to Hebrus, the Magi were tasked to convert the remnants of the fleet into hibernatic tombs that the people of Hubris might sleep through the harsh dormant months. The, the cryo generations of Hubris were revealed are revered aliens, t uh, trusty guardians, and monolithic testament to the to the perseverance of to the perseverance of the first two sellers. 
Okay, so these guys, uh, so, so the tombs are for the, uh, uh, for the colonists that first came here, alright. Alright, what you guys want? We got guns? We got guns, but we're not going to use any guns. Unless we need to. Let me stop. Oh! Oh, oh, our, wow. If you're swing hit some, oh, if you swing hit somebody, uh, yeah, you just, you, you just go in there and watch. And also, that's fast attacking. Um, but apparently, you're, if, if your swing goes through somebody, it goes through somebody. You know, it actually hits them. As opposed to some games like this, or some melee, melee games where your swing will clearly go through them, unless, of course, it gets the correct, uh, uh, you know, hit point. Which is interesting. And also, and also, Tesla, and also, and also uh, no, Tesla coils. Know where to go, so let's go this way first. And this place is a dead end, at least for now. First person in the good old, uh, first person in the good old, uh, Vince. Alright. Hopefully, I didn't get turned around. Oh, no, I didn't get turned around because this is new. Yeah. This was where Iclone's men had artificially triggered the revival process. Yeah. Uh, a key component of this mysterious device had been removed. Yeah, that's not good. We must get it back. We got two ways to go. I guess it's just uh, whichever way you pro uh, you want to approach this area. So let's just go here then. Okay, did we miss anything? We can go back up if we want, but we didn't miss anything. All right. We can shoot our guns, but no. Oh, these are. Oh. Excuse me. It's the time for hugs. I thought those were the uh, bad guys. I should have dodged. Wait, can you? You can't dodge in this mode. At least I don't think you can. Oh! Almost, Gregor. Keep missing. Stop tugging. You're hard to win and all that. Oh, mine. I'm not shooting that mine. That'd be bad for. Can you open these now? Oh, great. Bro, bro! Let me go back. Yeah, because they're still rolling in this, uh, in the free run mode. Wait, let's try doing this. Aha! They had to figure that one out. Which is not too bad, I mean... If you never, if you never try, you know, if you didn't try doing that... Oh, that's bad. If you never try doing um, that, and you know, and you're letting game, you're losing health to um, mine, that'd be bad. Still not enough. Unless this will be pretty cool too, you know. But no, uh, definitely getting me a uh, thunder armor first. Oh, here we go. Pause for breath. Big targets. Range me, successful regular combos, refill, pause, for pressing. All right. Oh, that's cool. But I don't need it. Roll. Which is, oh, out gun. And then after that guy. I mean, this is a slow methodical combat, but unlike uh, unlike the Technomancer, which is a bit clunky sometimes, this is actually perfect. Rush them. Uh, do that to them. Uh, you know what? Rain range, and then go. I'm trying to get the other guy. I don't think so, my friend. Rock him! Stop him, or slice him. We're good. 30 coins. 
Interesting thing, I don't know what the uh, imperial currency is, and as you can see, these um, evidence are pass uh, passable over here. Now where? Oh, there. Oh, I oh, can jump here. All right. I, I like how these made it show subtle, but I hate how they made it. Uh, how these made it. I hate how they kind of made it subtle when it's not completely obvious where you need to go. That's a long way down. And also, if you noticed already, the um, Imperials like or the. The Imperium likes their gothic architecture. Even on their ships, their ships are gigantic cathedrals. But that actually has a reason for it. Being that uh, the reason why I can see the cathedral is to, f um, is to more or less be safe from the, well, the demons in the warp. But, and actually, the, lang the official language of the Imperium is gothic. Both as a low, co uh, as a low version and the high version. High versions are used by... I guess officials and I guess generally people that uh um know, know the language better, be better educated. Basically, I gothic is just bigger vocabulary of the low gothic. I'm getting that on the hammer. I don't care. The sword's doing just fine. It's a wall. Or that's a uh, door. They're back outside. So you do have a place to run. There's nowhere left to run, recidivist. You cannot stop us, Inquisitor. The Imperium's days are numbered. We'll see about that. Perhaps. But yours ends here. Oh, boss fight, save them. Oh, ow. You. I will make you ow, oh, oh, that's our fault. I'll go there for your friends first. Get on the rocks. I'll get on the boxes. Keep moving. I oh, ooh, get shot through the box, didn't he? All right, get moving. Here's a pipe. Or is that a pipe or a crook? I mean, it's obviously. <laughs> the only time I'm gonna go to hell is when you are there, and I'll be visiting. Nope, get moving. Oh, is this? oh, that's the guy. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll save you for later. Couldn't really tell. I mean, it's easy to tell if you look at his left eye or his right eye. It's all uh, mechanical. All right. Oh, he healed. Oh, keep moving. So, gun, just gun. Oh. I guess. Well, got me. But I guess that was one of his uh, psycho attacks. Okay, I guess shooting him over and over again doesn't work. And your health doesn't regen. I bet you didn't. Ow. How am I supposed to dodge bullets? Oh, ammo. Yeah, I, I don't think you did. Don't lie to me. Good luck with that. This is where the thumb hammer coming in real handy because I, I, oh, I really don't have to dodge bullets. Um, how do we pick these up? I just have to use bullets first. Oh, great. Uh, I think you just gotta get locked in melee combat. That's the, that's the deal. I don't want to. Oh, I'll get your friend first. Oh, that is the guy. Okay, he's down. I think you got to dodge at the right time. How do you pick up ammo? Oh, I have a gun too. Rush him. Oh, okay, yeah, you automatically pick it up. He has a little pickup sound too. I just don't think so. I don't. I don't think you know who I am. I am the duh. And well, there's this guy too, Gregor. Gregor, Gregor Easternord. Gun, gun, gun. He's going to break it up. Get him on the roll. Ah, bullets. Let's go get some more. Ah, I used yeah, probably used the second deck. Well, I got one too. Target. Oh, I'm almost gone. Yeah, I tried to use my second deck, failed. Got yeah, bullets. Gotcha. You think I picked the bullet? Words, heretic. Indeed. Gotcha. I punched the gun so hard into his mouth the trigger guard broke his lower teeth. 
Wow. Well, you got what you wanted, Eastern Orn. Hope you're happy. Maya, the Imperium values little lies. Most observantly. I see. Most a codifier of unique design, similar in layout to the mind impulse units used by the hallowed Adeptus Mechanicus to govern the linkage between human brain and god machine. It may be illicit or stolen. The Adeptus Mechanicus would be most interested. Either way, they're not going to know about it. This is inquisitorial evidence. Quite so. Where is this off-worlder, this Eisenhorn? Arrest him! High Custodian. You will be detained until... No. I am an Inquisitor of the God Emperor of Mankind, Ordo Xenos. I will cooperate in any investigation, but you will not and cannot detain me. Do you understand? An Inquisitor? You did that. Thousands are dead. This desecration, the highborn of hubris, violated by a... by a... A murderer. A follower of darkness who now lies dead under a plastic sheet on the upper landing platform. I mourn the great loss hubris has suffered tonight. But if I had not been here at all to raise the alarm, who knows what catastrophe Eitro may have wrought. Or even his overall ambition. I clone the recidivist. You must brief me on this entire event. I shall prepare a report and bring it to you. I will have questions for you too, but you have plenty to deal with right now. Yeah. We made our way out. Betancourt presented the junior custodians with a formal register of evidence to be stored for my inspection. The list included the casket and the bodies of Iclone and his men. None would be tampered with, or even searched, until I had looked at them. Betancourt made these requirements abundantly clear. We took Vibben with us. Of course. It looked as though we may have had to remain on Hubris for a week. Maybe longer if Carpel proved difficult. But the investigation could not wait. As soon as I returned to the gun cutter, I went to see Loic, our astropath. Alright, well, you know what? I'm uh I'm gonna split this into videos anyway, let's continue. Seems like this is not seems like this is just an ongoing story as opposed to Mission! Cutscene mission, cutscene mission, cutscene. I mean it is an RPG, so what do I expect? My way if I can get me menu. Go to that checkpoint I got. Now it would appear that all my stuff will carry over to the next place, so I don't know if there's a a, uh, a new game plus or anything like that. But we'll see. All right, uh, actually, um, last pistol. That's supposed to get more ammo, which would make sense. It's laser; it does not carry bullets around. Um, we could get the last pistol actually. Get a shotgun. Carries less ammo, but that is more damage. There's no range. Also, okay. But it also does something opposed to wait. A pause for rest. Actually, I just realized I didn't know what those mean. I mean, how many ammo do I have in the stuff pistol? Actually, does it even matter? Do you have in all of the ammo? I don't know. I think 6 is my standard ammo, then 10% crit, 40 regular attack. I think that's what it is. Okay, it's kind of hard to tell. I'm going to quickly check if there's a. Uh, uh, no, there's not a uh, manual. I might as well just get the laser pistol, because why not? Or last pistol, I should say. 
Uh, uh, yeah, we're kind of we're halfway to the Thunder Hammer. We're getting the Thunder Hammer. Actually, what's the advanced version of these look like? Go. Oh, not much. All right. Astral Path. Uh, are they in relation to navigators? I don't know. We're gonna find out. But this, you know, again, animations can be a bit better. Um. Especially the facial animations, but they get the job done adequately. Um, the story is really, really good. Uh, definitely, you know, if you're a 40k fan, you know, it's definitely worth checking out. No, I, I don't know. And, and I like how they tie in what I at least believe is they tie in the uh, what is written in the book in the game with those moments where he's talking, to, where he's singing to himself. Uh, I like how that's done. All right, Astral Path. Wait, does that just mean pilot? Hello? Low Wink is waiting for you in the room below us. Okay. Ah, well. Just prepping for takeoff. We'll be ready shortly. Alright. Huh? There's the pilot. Okay. No one below us. Oh, below us. I think that's a servitor, which are, um, well, basically, robots made out of people. Uh, you see these server skulls? They're, again, robots made out of people. Why they're using people to make robots? Well, A, they don't trust AIs, because AIs, well, AIs do what AIs do, um, in, so in some sci fi stuff where they AIs start taking over everything and kill everyone. Uh, so they use human stuff, um, as well as they may not just flat out don't know how to make events computer advanced enough that to outdo the human mind. Ah. Master. Contact the main astropathicus enclave here on Hubris and request a full transcript of off-world traffic for the past six weeks. Also, any record of unlicensed traffic, individuals using their own astral hammers. Whatever they can make available. And a little threat. An inquisitor requiring this data with the hammer. Will you be requiring an auto fail? Not yet, but I will eventually. I will give you time to prepare. Master, is it true that the female Vibbon is dead? Yes, your highness. Ah, I thought it was quiet. The comment wasn't as callous as it sounded. Loris Vibbon was a latent psyker. Whilst she was alive, I could hear the unconscious broadcasting of her young, eager mind. And yet my psychic abilities at the time were undeveloped compared to Lowen's. I now remember West Pass, our Yes Pass, our people that communicate to the war. Lowen, although a young man, was already physically deteriorating from the demands of a psyker's life. Yeah. He hadn't been with me long. My previous astropath had been killed trying to translate a warp cipher six weeks before. Let's. So this is room. His room. All right. Sorry for bothering you. Um. But yeah, because you know, like the humanity couldn't figure, or the Imperium couldn't figure, or I guess humanity in general, both the Imperium and the people that come before it. Maybe the people that come before it knew, but the Imperium does not. Um. You know, they communicate to long distances at reasonable speeds without going through the warp. And to go through the warp, they don't have a machine to do it. They have to use Astropath. And psychers are those who are connected to the warp. Looking for Amos. Last time I saw him, he was in his room. All right. Tell me where that is. Ah, good words. Hello. Ah, I I, I think I get what the searcher is there for. Uh, he's there to help us light things. I can't want to catch him and uh, get more points, but no, we're not playing Headhunters in Halo Reach. 
I spent an hour with Amos in his cramped, data-slate-filled room, preparing a report for Carpal. I set out the basic details, reserving anything I felt he didn't need to know. I accounted for my actions. I made Amos check them against local law. In truth, I was bulletproof against local legislation, but I wanted to check anyway. An Amalathian prides himself on working with the structures of imperial society, not above or beyond them, or through them, as a mono-dominant might. I wanted Carpel and the senior officials of Hubris on my side, helping my investigation. Good man. Although exhausted, I could not sleep before paying one last visit to Vivian. Good man. Unfortunately, you don't get these kind of people in the frame all too often. Especially Inquisitors, and Inquisitors are usually always jerks. I mean, they're not nearly as bad as the, um... You know, they're not nearly as bad as the, uh, Commissars, which are just as they sound who they are, and, you know, Soviet Commissars, so, yeah. Loris Vivian. Twice she saved my life. She saw herself as my aide and bodyguard, but in truth, she was more a companion and fellow warrior. Most unfortunate. Where's the near quarters? I can do that. Is that in English? No, that's in binary. That is indeed in binary. Okay, with some with some images. I remember Warmer 40k, uh the original tabletop game released in the eighties. Oh, well, sorry, Nate, I should say. Get ready. Lift off for Sun Dome in five. Alrighty. Uh, do we rest in our... That's not very comfortable chair. I guess not. Gregor, you really, need to get, you really need to get yourself an armchair, man. Even if it's just for your desk. I mean, come on, man. What's a man without his armchair? Particularly a lazy boy. Okay, is library? Hologram? Ah! Any data slates? No. He likes his books, though. 